what's going on everybody mike here and i am back to making content here for those that don't know i had a recent move uh move from different states so i'm back i'm up and going again with my setup but in this video i want to talk about one of the biggest games of 2025 and you can argue maybe the biggest game of next year i know it's gonna be probably my personal game of the year and that's monster Hunter wilds because the beta is live right now if you are a ps plus subscriber though i uh, just want to clarify that but yeah this is something that a lot of gamers myself included have been looking forward to this game is still months away coming out end of february but we get to get hands on with the beta right now i don't want to talk about what you can expect in this uh, beta to test out you know play around with things like that uh it's already live right now as i said should be uh, early access for the playstation folk that are playstation subscribers but if you're not a playstation subscriber or you're going to play us on pc you know or xbox then you do have to wait till halloween uh the 31st so thursday 8 p.m pacific which is 11 p.m eastern time and the cool things you'll be able to do in this beta is create your character and you can transfer your character to the full game not only that your character and palico designs transfer so long as you use the same account and have an internet connection so just have fun with it guys take your time you know if you're anything like me you'll spend like an hour even hours just trying to create your perfect character along with your perfect palico you also will get to see the opening cutscene with a chatacabra hunt tutorial it's gonna be out and then the doshaguma hunt so you'll be able to try that out play it as much as you want i imagine they'll give you maybe some weapons maybe all weapons to play with and mess around with i know i can't wait to check it out and get a feel for this i'm definitely gonna be checking out the playstation version first more so to focus on you know what weapons i want to possibly like main or play around with just to see how they all are I'm not a big on the range combat one so bow gun and you know gun lance and all stuff like that i'm most likely not, not even gonna touch but I definitely want to see what's going on with Insight Glaive, Great Sword, Long Sword, uh, Hammer, and even a few more besides that. So I'm excited for this. And then, of course, you got online play is also available for both hunts as well. If you want to play with your friends or just, you know, get a random group of people together to play. Now, some of you might be wondering does the open beta quest progress transfer? No, it does not. Only your created character carries over to the full version of Monster Hunter Wild. So, a lot of might sound disappointing to some people this is kind of standard stuff i mean you want to you know expect it to even though other games do this though like i mean recently had metaphor refantasio drop for example and if you play a demo to that then all your progress from the demo does carry over to the full game the demo is just a prologue though experience in that game but still that still matters you know to some gamers but yeah. unfortunately though this is not going to be the case for this game which is fine i feel like with this though the crazy thing is we're getting this so early is you got to think about the fact that this is still one of their you know games or early games that's going to have cross play so while i was initially expecting we get this maybe like you know end of the year you know january time frame we're not like a few months before the game releases it honestly reflecting back on it makes more sense why we're getting even earlier than in in december or january because crossplay is a factor full crossplay between all platforms that's on no cross saves though unfortunately i don't know if they're going to implement that later on down the line it's a possibility they got to test it out and think back to street fire 6 when it had open base for that it was crossplay the crossplay wasn't fully functional so guys expect there to be problems this is a beta after all you know betas are intended to essentially have the gamers test it out have there be some problems you know that do come about some bugs and issues is going to happen and players are gonna to need to like point that out to them. So that way Capcom the developers can just address it and make this a fully polished game once it does come out at launch. So I expect the crossplay to be wacky, wonky, things like that. There's gonna be probably some issues. PS5, I'm wondering how that performance is gonna be overall. And then I definitely wanna check out the PC version as well. So later on today, cause this video is going, yeah, going up on Tuesday. So later on today, I'll be checking out the open beta on PlayStation 5 myself, seeing how it is, 
you know get the experience it's like that so make sure you join me for that as my return stream because of me moving recently so definitely come check that out and then also i want to check out the pc version as well and stream that and see how that holds up because i think in the last few months or so when it comes to like impressions of this game from different sources it's mainly been the playstation version i don't think anybody's really played the pc version so i'm really curious how well it performs on pc i hope it's not too bad i hope they learn some lessons from dragon Stop 2 and other games as well in the past you know it's a smooth experience but then again it is a beta so i'm expecting to be some issues some technical problems things like that but i imagine hopefully those get ironed out by the launch of the game we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see i know with the pc version though i'm gonna focus on more of like having fun creating my character in perfect palico because i definitely want to get the pc version of this uh, when the full game comes out and enjoy it that way over console that's just me what do you guys think about this are you excited for it like what weapons are you going to try out hopefully this allows us to play with different weapons in the beta just like in previous betas as well like the different rise of the world we got a monster in our game on the horizon there's not much else going on these next couple months unless we get random announcements of some cool stuff i mean sure we got half exile 2 coming out early access uh, I think we got like one or two more Nintendo games coming out. We got Indiana Jones game coming out in December. Uh, the Marvel Rivals in December as well, free to play. Uh, I think there's some other GRPGs as well, Dragon Quest 3, HD, 2D remake, things like that. But overall, like in true terms, of, like really true big hitters, heavy hitters. I mean, not too much. So I feel like it's gonna be a good, good game to get into, test it out, see how it is, to cap off like the uh, end of the week. And also, just a reminder as well this beta does last until november 3rd so that's for the open beta on now the early access version ends on the 30th apparently but you get the second phase beta to happen starts up on the 31st and that end, ends, ends on the uh third or fourth something like that so plenty of time to check this out guys don't you know think you might have to rush into it right away you got you know a good decent chunk of time to play it don't worry about that and the other cool thing too is for playing the beta you'll also get a special open beta test palico pendant as a reward so make sure you play it'll be a cool thing if you're into the cosmetic stuff like that and that'll be in the full game just to remind you not the beta so you get the palico pendant in the full game you also get some other rewards in the full game uh, like mega potions 10 of those five rations five life powders two max potion two herbal medicines you know various and five armor spears so yeah that's what the official site notes you can play the rewards in the full game you'll need to use the same platform account though you use in the open beta test so keep that in mind that's all i got for you today let me know your thoughts in the comments below like i mentioned before and what you think about this and how you're excited for things like that what are you going to play weapon wise and of course if there's any more details that come out later this year i'll do my best to keep you guys updated about it and talk about it give my thoughts on it as usual hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please smash that like subscribe for new my name is mike thanks for watching